Hello everyone, it's me Lane and welcome back to my channel, Miss Lane Diaries. Today I'm going to share with you a tutorial about how to create a database using MySQL Workbench. So MySQL Workbench is, is a graphical user interface tool for MySQL. It allows you to design, create, and browse your database schemas. It has different capabilities. Now let's create a database using SQL scripts. So first is for us to log in. If you have a password, you put your password and log in. Once you log in, you will see this interface. You will see here the schemas and this one is the space for your scripts. Okay, now let's start our database creation based on the data dictionary that we have last time. So as you can remember, we have our data dictionary that we have created last time about the training database, which has the course, the class, and training and the instructor. So we will have it as our basis. Now let's first create our database. Create database and then the name of the database. And then click execute here, this one. And you will see here if it is created already or not. And then you can refresh, right click here in this portion and you will see that it is already created. So this one means that our database is already created and it's now ready for use. Now let's create the table. Create table. Our first table is course. And then the different attributes. So you have the name here of the table and then the attribute names. So for the attributes, Let's have first is the course code. What is its specific data type? Its length. If it's the primary key, we're going to put primary key. And then we're going to put not null to specify that it should have a value. And then let's go and let's proceed to the other attribute. We have here the course name. The course name. You can also have like this. We'll indent it and do like this for it to be seen. Course name varcar with a range of 100 and still not null. And for the other one, which is the course units, it is tiny int, the range of 10 and not null. So these are the attributes for our course table. And then we're going to have closing, parenthesis, and then the semicolon. And you can execute this one. We should not include this. We should just run this one. So after that, it's already created. How to know that it's already created? Let's just refresh and then we will see the course table here. Here, it's already created. There's just a warning about it that it will be deprecated. Okay, so we have created our table course. Now let's go to the other table. Let's first create those tables who do not have foreign keys. So in this case, class has foreign keys. The instructor did not have a foreign key as well as the 
training. So let's first have the training. So for the training, create table training. Then training ID with a size of worker twenty twenty and then not primary key. Not null, and then we have here the tra l name parkour forty five. Not null, and we have there the um first name tra f name bar car 100 so if you have your data dictionary it would be very easy for you to create the database and the tra middle initial which is bar car 5 And then draw gender, which is enum male and comma. And then semicolon. It has a not null and close. So here it is for the second one. So let's delete this one for this to be able to be executed. Okay, so if we're going to refresh. We will have another one, which is here the training. Okay, let's go to the instructor. Create table instructor. For the instructor, we have ins ID for core. Twenty. This is the primary key. Not null. And then we have the ins l name bar car. That is forty five. Not null. And let's go to ins f name. We have bar car. I purposely um, created the instructor with more number of characters because there are names that are really long compared to the last name. Okay, so we have ins, middle initial, and we have here bar car, and it's five, and it's it can be null because there are those people who don't have a middle initial. So let's erase this one to give space for this execution. Okay, it is already successful. Let's refresh and you will see that we have here three tables. Now let's go to class table. The class table, as we have known, has foreign keys. So as you can see here, it has foreign keys. 
so now i have here this script so create class table we have create table the name of the table and then our class code is our primary key it has this data type and then still it's not null and then we have the class day foreign character not null the class time still not null and then here we have here the course code fk with the size of varier, varying character 20. So varying character 20 is also the size of the primary key of our course code. It's not null. And we have here instructor ID as a foreign key. It will refer to the instructor ID in the instructor ID table. And then it's not null. So how to make a foreign key in creating your database? You just put the foreign key keyword and then what is the name of the attribute in your table? So in our case, we have course code FK, this one. And then after that, you are going to have the keyword references and then the name of the existing table. So it should be existing. That's why we have created first the tables trainee course and instructor for it to have um, referencing so, so that it could not have any problem so we have here the existing course and then the name of the attribute that it will refer to for the relation so we have here the course code so remember always that course code of the course should have the same attribute data type for our foreign key and then we have other one another one which is the instructor so we have here foreign key ins underscore idfk which is this one which references to the table instructor and then we have here the name of the primary key of our instructor table so if we're going to execute this one so it is already executed and then if we're going to refresh it here so we will see we have here class course instructor and the training so we have already have four tables now let's go to the last table so the last table is class training table this one okay as you can see here we have two primary keys and at the same time two foreign keys so how are we going to make it so let's have this script query so create table the name of the table which is class underscore trainee and we have here the attribute class code fk which is varying character size 20 not null trainee id which is also a varying character and not null and if you're going to make primary keys, which is more than one, you're going to create this query, primary key, and then put what are those keys that we're going to have as your primary key. So in here, we have a composite primary key. And then again, you put the foreign key, then what is the name of the attribute that you're going to consider as your foreign key, and then the code or the name which is references this is the keyword references to class this is the table name and then this is our attribute name and then another foreign key which is trainee id underscore fk which references to trainee table which is trainee id as our attribute which is the primary key of the trainee table so this is the code for that the script the MySQL script so let's execute it and then here we have it is successful and we are going to refresh it so when you're going to refresh it you will have now five we have the class the class trainee the course instructor and the training so we are done with our creation of the database so I hope that you can create your database so always remember that you are going to put the names of the tables at the same time you will have the attribute names don't forget which 
attributes are having null values and not null values. And then also note of the primary keys and the foreign keys. When there are foreign keys, you should always create first the reference table before creating the tables that refers to it. Okay, so that's all. Thank you very much. I hope that you have learned from this session. Have a nice day.